Good evening and welcome to the Tangent Committee meeting of October 27th, 2020. Ms. Borak, please call the roll. Karen Zelfor. Here. Mary Woman Holmes. Mary Woman McCauley. Here. Jeffrey Lapani. Here. Mayor Thompson. Here. Administrator Ferreira. Here. Attorney Willard. Here. Attorney Bernstein. Here. Okay, please join me to salute the flag. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please be advised that in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act, notice that this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and on the Township website notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on October 27, 2020. Members of the public may participate in this public meeting in person or via Zoom as posted. We have no meeting minutes this evening. So first up is committee reports from liaisons. Uh, committee Delcourt. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first up, I just wanted to thank uh, Greg Wilkie and Iron Peak uh, for uh, allowing me the opportunity to tour their uh, facility today. can say uh, it's really an amazing, amazing place, a great addition to Hillsborough. And I uh, just wanted to thank them for allowing me the opportunity to take a tour. Uh, and I hope uh, everyone enjoys it uh, as much as I did today. Um, we have a number of parks and recreation items. Uh, this Saturday, of course, is Halloween. So we do have our Halloween event for, our, for uh, at the dog park at ABM for all of our four-legged friends. If you want to dress your dog up and come on down and uh, do the dog parade, uh, there are prizes for uh, certain uh, costume contests. Uh, that No registration is necessary, uh, but we'll see you there if you'd like to join us. And I believe the parade starts at 9. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, we also have the 20... 2020-2021 Fall Winter Activities Guide is out and available on the Township website. Uh, we do have a number of programs for all age groups from children to adults. If there's anything you would like to do to try to keep your family active over the winter uh, with the Recreation Department, there are a couple of programs that are uh, new and we're highlighting. We have ASL for Beginners is a new virtual program that will teach you how to introduce yourself. Uh, finger spelling ABCs, colors, numbers, basic grammar, and other elements of functional conversation. Uh, if you are a bird fan, uh, there are uh, we're offering a free birding family walk at Anvil Middlesbrough Park. And you can check out the winter birds that are available uh, here in town and learn what tricks they use to stay warm. Uh, also in the activities guide is a youth tennis lessons. Uh, that's for children age five to 14, as well as our virtual art program, which is a very popular program. It's for children aged eight to 14. Again, lots of uh, great things in the, in the activity guide. So please check that out and register for anything you'd like to, uh, you'd like to sign up for to keep your family active. Uh, for social services, I just want to thank all those who participated in our flea market this month at Willow Road Complex. Uh, it was an opportunity for us to add something new. And I'd like to uh, uh, thank everyone that was able to participate and we hope we'll be able to expand it a bit next year. Uh, health department, uh, as a reminder, um, the health department is uh, asking everyone to reminder to get your flu shot this year. Uh, more important than ever this year to get your flu shot as a result of COVID-19 and the, the flu having very similar systems. So you wanna keep your immune, immune system as strong as possible. And regarding the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, Governor Murphy signed executive order number 191, which is extending the public health crisis for an additional 30 days. If you test positive or if you receive a call from someone <coughs> who has tested positive, please contact the Hillsborough Township Health Department immediately at 908-369-5652. Monday through Friday, that's 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, during non-business hours, you can email uh, spano at hillsborough-nj.org. And of course, we do uh, ask you to continue to uh, be compliant with uh, all the guidelines that are out there, uh, wearing a mask, socially distancing, uh, sanitizing. But the wearing a mask is, the, is the, the best measure at this point to prevent transmission of COVID-19. Uh, 
We have an emergency rental relief program that's offered through Somerset County for individuals that may have a uh, financial implication due to COVID-19 that they may be eligible for. Please see the e-news or visit the county website for additional information regarding uh, some emergency relief that may be available to our residents. And finally, from a, a sustainable Hillsborough perspective, uh, Hillsborough is taking on a new challenge to see how it stacks up with other municipalities across the nation when it comes to clean energy successes. 30 communities in five states are taking the Sustainable States Community Energy Challenge, which offers tools and support to assess clean energy goals and initiatives. Participating cities will be part of an in-state peer cohort and receive technical assistance and complete a pressing clean energy initiative. Initially, uh, additionally, the challenge will compare clean energy achievements across similar sized cities, assess future initiatives and provide project implementation assistance. So um, we'll see how we, uh, we stack up with some of our peers across the country. Uh, if we fare as well as we do with everything else we do, I'm sure we'll be quite successful. Agreed. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Committee Woman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. A few notes for me tonight. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Mary, Mother of God Church, as they did hold a blue mass this past Sunday in honor of all law enforcement, <clears throat> Purple Lewis and officers Censure and Pelosi attended representing the Hillsborough Township Police Department. So thank you to them for supporting the police department here and all the other members um, that attended the Blue Mass. Coffee with a Cop, the Hillsborough Township Police Department will host their third annual Coffee with a Cop on Wednesday, October 28th from 2 to 4 p.m. here in Hillsborough at Starbucks. Again, 2 to 4 p.m. on October 28th. The Hillsborough Township Police Department is a positive component, component of our community and we thank them uh, for their continued dedication and willingness to go above and beyond and um, show the public that they are there for them and support them in uh, this event. Halloween is Saturday, one of my favorite holidays, and I do believe you can trick or treat. So uh, a couple of things that Chief McMahon would like to remind residents of for safety precautions for all those participating in Halloween festivities this Saturday. Um, the following precautions will hopefully lead to a safe and happy time for all residents. And um, this will include tips and rules on keeping safe during the COVID-19 pandemic as well. So just a few precautions here of um, note. Wear light colored clothing that is short enough to prevent tripping. You can add reflective tape to the sides, front and back of costumes so um, people can see you. Make sure children can see well through masks and costumes. Adults can accompany young children, obviously, and should if they're walking around the neighborhoods. Carry a flashlight after nightfall, watch for traffic, examine all candy before um, allowing children to eat it. Keep control of your pets that children may um, want to pet or they come to the door. Pets may react unexpectedly to children in costumes. Um, so keep them safe. Those who plan to trick or treat limit groups to current household members Consider staying local and limit the number of houses en route. If you're handing out candy, please limit interaction or contact with trick-or-treaters. Wear a face covering when individuals come to the door and regularly wash your hands if you are able to do so. For those putting out treats, consider arranging individually packaged candy so the trick-or-treaters can grab and go without accessing a shared bowl. Wear a mask to mitigate against COVID-19 exposure. Not that that's anything new these days, but uh, some costume masks people think could probably keep you safe. They're not considering it an acceptable substitute, but you can, be, can implement with a mask, um, with a cloth or disposal mask underneath your costume. Practice good hygiene. You can carry some hand sanitizer before leaving your home after touching objects wrapped such as candy, or yeah, when the candy is wrapped, and then uh, when, back when you're arriving home, make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly. And indoor gatherings, as a reminder, must be limited to 25 people or 25% of a room's capacity whichever number is lower. All attendees must wear face coverings and stay six feet apart. And of course, as a reminder to follow and adhere to the township's um, Halloween curfew ordinance. And I will read that here. It will be on the website for anybody who wants to um, go on to the website or the e-news after as well to look it up. But the curfew established here in Hillsborough is no person under the age of 18 years shall be permitted on any public place, public street, or public property in the Township of Hillsborough between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 a.m. prevailing time of each and every day during the period from October 28th through November 1st. 
inclusive of each year unless such person is in attendance at a program or function sponsored by a <coughs> municipality, a church, or school. This section shall not apply to persons under the age of 18 years while they are returning home from a place of employment, school, fraternal or religious meetings, or going to and from a doctor or dentist's office appointment where treatment has been rendered or is to be rendered or to persons under the age of 18 years who are accompanied by a parent or guardian over the age of 21 years. Again, that information will be on the Township website. A note from the Finance Department, their added omitted tax bills have been mailed to those homeowners who updated their property or purchased new homes. These bills are due in addition to the bill mailed to you in September. If you have any questions uh, regarding the added or omitted bills, please contact the Assessor's Office at 908-369-8077. The Hillsborough Municipal Alliance would like to let everyone know there will be a virtual substance abuse prevention parent education program, which will be sponsored by the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. It will be held via Zoom on Wednesday, October 28th from 7 to 8 p.m. The calendar on the website, on the Township website for all the details um, will be there on how to register. So again, uh, Wednesday, October 28th from 7 to 8 p.m. We would like to say thank you to HEF for applying for the first Energy Foundation grant on behalf of the Municipal Alliance as well. Last week, Regional External Affairs Consultant Carol Bianchi presented H the HEF, um, the grant award here, and we were thankful to be a part of that. It will be used to fund mental health first aid training. So thank you to JCPNL and HEF for applying for the grant, and we certainly will be welcoming here to, to utilize it for a good purpose. And a quick reminder from the clerk's office, the uh, mail-in ballot is right around the corner. It's a mail-in ballot election. There's no in-person machine voting unless you have a disability. If you do show up at the polls, you will be given a provisional ballot. Additionally, there are consolidated polling locations. So if you think that all polling locations are gonna be open, that is incorrect. I know I got mine in the mail <coughs> the other day. So you should have been mailed your polling location. If you did not, and you do intend on going to a polling location, then please visit the township or the county website to ensure you're going to the correct location. November 3rd is election day and the polls will be open at 6 a.m. and they will close at 8 p.m. The ballot drop box also closes at 8 p.m. So be sure to get your vote in uh, before 8 p.m. on election day. And I think that's it for me this evening, Mayor. Uh, happy Halloween, everybody, and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Committee Woman Holmes is unable to join us. So Deputy Mayor LaPani. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd also like to thank the owner of Iron Peak. I had a tour last Friday. Um, as Mayor Delcor stated, it is quite a place, and I just have to say I'm openly envious of not being in my teens in this town right now because uh, those, you know, the mayor would say we were growing up in this town, there was not nearly this type of facilities around for our youth to, uh, to uh, take advantage of. So very nice. I, I highly recommend taking the tour yourself and just seeing what it is. From the building department, autumn is here and winter is just around the corner. Uh, don't wait until it's too late to start winterizing your home. When water inside pipes freeze, it causes pressure inside the pipe. Uh, when the pressure gets too high, pipes burst, as you know. We recommend insulating pipes and crawl spaces to create warmth. Also, if you're planning on uh, leaving for an extended period of time, do shut off your heat completely. And as a person, I, I always shut off the water to the washer and dryer, just in case that helps you. First. Do not shut off your heat completely. Do not shut off your heat, sorry. And, I'll, and turn off your water to your washer and dryer. Uh, engineering, the engineering department would also like to advise residents that new sump pump or new sump pump discharge lines to be installed to the street are not allowed per township ordinance. Although they were allowed for many years at the township had many instances where the sump pump discharges to the street causing ice conditions in the winter months and mold in the summer. So they are now prohibited. Some pump discharges should terminate on a splash block at the foundation. Extensions pipes are not recommended. The extension pipes, if extension pipes are utilized, they must terminate a minimum of 10 feet <coughs> from any adjoining property line or street line and not cause a nuisance or impacting adjoining properties or the street. Please contact the engineering department for further information. From our business advocate, uh, as we stated in our last meeting, October is National Women's Small Business Month and it was created to celebrate the growth and accomplishments of female entrepreneurs and to recognize the vital role they play in our economy. 
The Economic and Business Development Commission, EDBC, is taking the opportunity to recognize women business owners in Hillsboro. The weekly spotlights featuring Debbie Norris of Norris Farm, Tina Rear of Scrap U Artistry 2, that's T-O-O, Hilary Sinelli of Impact Training, and Jane Mark Chance of Super Sundays are now available. Get to know the rest of the participating female profiles by visiting hillsboroughbusiness.org. Just to restate what was mentioned in our previous report, winter is on its way and time to inspect your mailboxes for any repairs that need to be made or have them replaced. Please visit the DPW or Public Works link on the Township website for specific information and instructions regarding our programs. Don't forget about LitterCon, which is November 14th. LitterCon is a festive community event where people come together, socially distanced, to pick up litter in preparation for the holidays. A community event where volunteers can dress in Santa, Elf, Grinch, or other holiday attire costumes and pick up litter around the community is a sure way to get in the holiday spirit. Sing Carol, spread joy, and just throw some litter in the trash. Get ready to take on litter one wrapper at a time and be a hashtag litter hero. Register on the DPW webpage, and thank you for the interest in making a difference. That's all, man. Thank you. A couple things for me this evening. First, um, congratulations to Hillsboro. The results are in for the Wineland ninth annual National Mayor's Campaign for Water Conservation. Hillsboro Township entered the competition for the second year in a row and finished 12th out of 550 plus towns and cities across the U.S. and first in New Jersey in the 30,000 to 99,000 population category. The campaign encourages to make a series of pledges to use water more efficiently, reduce pollution, and save energy. Water conservation is critical to, for the sustainability of future here in Hillsboro and and we remain dedicated to supportive efforts for further education and awareness to initiatives such as this. Hillsborough maintains its first place in New Jersey from 2019 and doubles the pledges. Thank you to all those who participated. Uh, also, the National Gar I'm sorry, the Neshanic Gardening Club was founded here in uh, August 1929, became a member of the Garden Club of New Jersey in 1949 and celebrated its 90th anniversary last year on September 26, 2019. Earlier this fall, the Neshanic Garden Club in conjunction with the Hillsborough Township Parks Department installed a Blue Star Memorial on the grounds of the Township Municipal Complex. This is yet another example of what Hillsborough, makes Hillsborough so great. I just want to thank the Neshanic Garden Club for working with us to have this memorial erected on Township property, but more importantly, along the parade route for our annual Memorial Day Parade. Stay tuned to next spring when we'll have a formal dedication of that. Um, we also have a resolution on the agenda this evening designating Hillsborough Township as a stigma-free community. The stigma-free initiative is to help raise awareness surrounding mental health and strives to create an environment where individuals feel free to seek supportive uh, to enhance their mental health without the fear of being stigmatized. This is the first step to raise awareness of mental health and to begin to reduce the stigma associated with it, while encouraging individuals to seek services and support. We are fortunate in Hillsborough to have a very active municipal alliance working on substance abuse preventative uh, prevention and Burl Safe working on suicide prevention. And earlier this year and um, earlier recently, I went a step further and established the Opioid Task Force here in Hillsborough. Additionally, each year we support Alcohol and Awareness Month and Suicide Awareness Month as well. Stay tuned for upcoming programs and events for the community to raise awareness and reduce stigma. Earlier this month, I, along with our Township Administrator, Anthony Ferreira, our Health Officer, Siobhan Spano, and Deputy Director of Public Health for Environmental Programs, Nick Delisi, participated in a Zoom meeting with the Hillsborough Education Association, President Henry Goodhue Hugh, and his members of the Hillsborough Education Association discussed school safety amid the COVID-19 pandemic. So I wanna thank Henry for putting that together and allowing us to address his members directly. I know it was a very productive meeting and I do appreciate it. As always, you can stay connected with all the events and more via the e-news and Twitter, TV29, Hillsborough YouTube channel, showcase our meetings and Hillsborough The Good Life episodes. Uh, thank you, Cass, for that and Hillsborough alerts for traffic and emergency notifications. We do have a couple of proclamations this evening, so I would like to read them into the record. First up is declaring October as National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month and the Township of Hillsborough recognizes that it has a vital role in identifying, protecting, responding to cyber threats that have been significant impact on our individual and collective security and privacy. The Stop, Think, Connect campaign has been designed as a national public awareness campaign implemented through a coalition of private companies, nonprofit, governmental agencies, organizations, as well as academic institutions working together to increase the understanding of cyber threats and empowering the American public to be safer and more <coughs> secure online. And October has been declared National Cybersecurity Awareness Month and all citizens are encouraged to visit these department sites along with the Stop, Think, Connect campaign. 
uh, campaign website is www.stopthinkconnect.org to learn about cybersecurity and put the aware, uh, knowledge into practice in their homes, schools, workplaces, and businesses. Maintain the security of cyberspace as a shared responsibility in which uh, all of us play a critical role. Awareness of computer security is, is essential and will improve the security of the Township of Hillsborough, information infrastructure and economy. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that we and the mayor of the Township Committee to hereby recognize all of the above and are supporting the National Cybersecurity Awareness Month and the 2020 theme, Do Your Part, Be Cyber Smart. Mayor? Yes. IT uh, Director Jim Hoy is online. Oh, uh, Jim, if you would like to raise your hand and say something. Sure, can you hear me, Mayor? Oh, yep, you're already promoted. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I want to thank you for um, recognizing uh, October as National Cybersecurity Month, because uh, as the term cybersecurity has become more and more into focus over the past few years, uh, National Cybersecurity Awareness Month has been in existence now for 16 years and was launched by the National Cybersecurity Alliance, the NCSA, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in October of 2004. So it seems very recent with cyber, but it's been 16 years uh, within government and um, we're hoping to keep things safe. So with that being said, I mean, I'd just like to briefly share some tips to um, help individuals and families enhance their security posture and, and some things they may realize, some things they may not. But, uh, you know, the one thing is passwords. Um, they're pretty much uh, for a lot of things, the main door to try and keep you out. So uh, you basically with passwords, you don't want to use the same password for all accounts because if one account gets hacked, then they can get all to the other accounts with the same password uh, to minimize, you know, people say, I, I, I don't know what passwords were to keep them, but there are password managers uh, you can get for free or paid. Uh, some are like uh, called LastPass, OnePassword, KeyPass. Uh, there's also free and paid password managers. Um, with your password, uh, you want to make it long, strong, and complex. And also something that's a little easier um, that's coming up um, a lot now is what they call pass phrases. So you don't have to have typically where you might have a password. Where, well, minimally, you'd want an uppercase character, lowercase character, special character, uh, and a number. But with passphrases, it could be something to quote um, Snowden, who uh, people probably know who he is over in Russia now, but uh, he gave an example of, I love the queen 100%. So that's something easy to remember. It's got all of the minimally uh, digits that need to be in there. And um, the other thing too, is if you go theoretically now, I mean, as per the FBI, once you get to a 22 character uh, passphrase or um, it, it's, it's basically, very, very tough to get that uh, hacked. And um, one thing which is around a lot now, more so with COVID is um, email um, uh, phishing campaigns, which you have to be careful and vigilant. Don't just uh, you know see an, an email, click on it. Uh, you wanna always be aware of your surroundings, so to speak, in the email. So you can hover your mouse cursor over a link in an email that you may or may not be sh certain of but don't click and it'll show you where it's gonna go. So you can see if it's gonna to go to somewhere else where uh, you think it shouldn't be going. And one of the big things, um, which you know can be a pain, but uh, we really have to go with it is, is you know, routinely install the system updates uh, for the computers, uh, for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and you definitely wanna keep antivirus up to date. And then um, in case things do happen, either the computer bombs out or you do get hacked, you definitely want to have some type of a backup ahead of time, uh, which could be a, an extra um, hard drive plugged into the computer or cloud-based, uh, at least this way, personal information. And probably I, I would say what's high up there is even, you know, they always say when a house is on fire and people are running out, they're grabbing photos. So you, um, backups are very good for that. And two-factor authentication, 2FA, if, if you've seen that, is uh, a dual, it allows you to, when you log in, say to a bank, you put in your credentials, the bank doesn't let you in until they send you a code and you send the code back to them. So they know you're legitimate and you're the one who should be doing this. And um, along the lines too, when you sign up for things, you know, they maybe tell you to remember things. They'll say, you know, um, they'll give you a list of, you know, where were you born? What car did you have? What was your dog's name? Those you want to, when you get anytime doing something like that, you wanna make it 
where it's uh, uh, what they're t asking you uh, one of the choices is only you know not the whole world like not your your brother your sister because that is uh, an, an easy way in if that gets compromised and um at home too with uh one of the big things with uh, equipment with technology or internet of things these devices come with a standard uh, fully known username and password so you definitely want to if you install something new a new router things like that you want to make sure that you change the password and use the username and password uh, so hackers can't get into that it minimizes that and then uh, very lastly um, yeah. wi-fi we have a couple yes okay okay i would say you basically don't want to put anything that uh, that can be compromised going through public Wi-Fi, and always suspect that that, that that something is compromised with that. So you don't want to, you know, go check your four hundred one k on a public Wi-Fi. And uh, that's about it. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on to Red Ribbon, uh, Red Ribbon, Ribbon Week. Sorry. <laughs> New Jersey has the sixth highest rate of fatal youth overdoses in the country. 15% of New Jersey teens admit to drinking alcohol for the first time before age 13 compared to 19% of teens nationally and 39% of teens aged 12 to 17 in New Jersey admitted to smoking marijuana at least once daily. The availability of relatively inexpensive and highly, highly pure heroin in New Jersey is controlled to an increased number of drug related deaths. It is imperative that visible unified preventative education <clears throat> efforts by community members be launched to reduce the demand for drugs. The National Family Partnership for Drug for Youth and the Distance District Life Skills Committee and the Hillsborough Municipal uh, Millstone Municipal Alliance are sponsoring a national red ribbon campaign, which will be celebrated October 26th to the 30th, offering citizens the opportunity to demonstrate their commitment to a drug-free lifestyle by wearing and displaying red, rib uh, red ribbons. Now, therefore, we proclaim that we, the Mayor and Township Committee, do hereby recognize October 26th to the 30th, 2020, as Red Ribbon Week and encourage the citizens of Hillsborough Township to participate in drug prevention activities, making a visible statement that we are strongly committed to be a drug-free community. We further encourage all citizens to pledge to be happy, be brave, and be drug-free. I believe we have um, Kim Feltry, I think is on the line, if you'd like to say something. And I also see uh, Jean Trujillo, uh, you're also on the line, who is a member of not only our Board of Education, but also um, a very active participant of the uh, Millstone, this one Millstone Municipal Line. So Jean or Kim, if you'd like to say a few words. Um, sure, thanks Mayor, it's Jean Trujillo here. I'm here just as, as a private citizen today. And I wanted to take a moment to thank the committee actually for their very strong support of mental health awareness and substance use education in the township, especially for your very strong support of the Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance. And also I wanted to say thank you for the stigma-free community resolution that will be on the agenda later today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kim, do you have anything? Kim, do you have anything? That um, no, I'm also here as a uh, uh, resident. I'm a Hillsborough resident, um, not as a member of the the school system. But I thank you for your support of Red Ribbon, Ribbon Week. Um, it's very important to all of us uh, in the in the school district, and um, we just thank you for your support. Thank you, we appreciate it. Um, all right, moving on to our Eagle Scout, William Murray. Uh, William Payne Murray, a Hillsborough resident, a senior at Princeton High School and a member of the Boy Scout Troop 1776 has earned the rank of Eagle Scout. William e William's Eagle Scout project consisted of building 10 Strider bike ramps for local Special Olympic New Jersey cycling teams. The project took 156 hours and 28 scouts and adults assisted. William served as a senior patrol leader, patrol <laughs> leader, bugler, uh, troop guide, skills instructor, quartermaster. He was the vice chief of membership in the Order of the Arrow Rare and Valley Chapter and is on the staff of the National Youth Leadership Training Conference. William also received the Patriots Path Council Meritus Action Award and the Rare and Valley District Boy Scout of the Year Award in 2018. William is a member of the varsity swim team and track team and plays trumpet in the Princeton High School Jazz Band. He also participates in the Ethics Bowl, Latin Club, and Cycling Club. William serves as an example to the youth of Hillsborough. Uh, through his high level of leadership and community service. And we are very proud that he's a member of our community. 
Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize and extend our sincere congratulations to William Payne Murray for having achieved the rank of Eagle Scout in honor for both himself and for those who guide him with best wishes for a bright future. Congratulations, William. I'm not sure if you're on the call. If you are, uh, I'd like to raise your hand. If you'd like to speak. I don't believe I see you on there. So we'll just simply say, congratulations, well deserved. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to move on to new business or public comment on new business and matters not on the agenda this evening. Uh, if anyone has a comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, uh, we're going to move on to a public hearing. We have an introduction of new ordinances, 2020-28 ordinance amending chapter 115, the amusement game section 115-9, designation of recognized amusement parks of the municipal code of the township of Hillsborough, County of Somerset, City, New Jersey, the change name of the recognized amusement park from Apex Sports and Events to Iron Peak Sports and Events. For the consideration of this ordinance and public hearing to be held on December 8th, 2020, we have a motion to introduce this ordinance. So move, Mayor. Second. Roll call, please. Move in Delcor. Yes. Committee Woman McCauley. Yes. Mayor Lapani. Yes. Mayor Thompson. Yes. Moving on to 2020 2020 29 29 in ordinance amending chapter 188 land use and development article 4 design and performance standards section 188 66 non-conforming uses structures or lots of the code the township of Hillsborough County of Somerset State of New Jersey for the consideration of this ordinance public hearing to be held on December 8th 2020 we have a motion to introduce this ordinance. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Karen Delcor. Yes. Committee Woman McCauley. Yes. Deborah Lapani. Yes. Mayor Thompson. Yes. Um, moving on to the resolutions. Does anyone want to take a resolution separately? No. Nope. Seeing none. Uh, Congratulations to our newest police officer that we're about to uh, officially hire, Dylan Eli, as he was sworn in earlier today. Committee woman McCauley and I, uh, our public safety liaison, connect, conducted the ceremony a little earlier. Uh, we are very excited to have Dylan on um, part of our team. He definitely uh, is ready. I think he officially starts tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. So uh, <laughs> he was uh, getting a good night's sleep and ready to start work for us tomorrow, uh, as long as we approve his ordinance or resolution. Um, so with that, may I have a motion to uh, uh, adopt the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Any comments from the dais? Mayor, I just wanted to note uh, and uh, I'd like to thank our building department and I'm sure Administrator Ferreira. Uh, we always try to get uh, some shared services where we can. And uh, inspectors has been a, um, an issue for a number of municipalities, be able to work with uh, some of our neighboring towns to share resources as needed uh, is a very uh, viable solution for, uh, for for the issue of inspectors and I appreciate the work that was done on that. Thank you. Mayor, just one. Yep, um, Minister on Ferrer. Just uh, the two new hires, uh, both uh, three, sorry, three, floater. thank you. Uh, first, uh, Melissa Shepard Davis uh, for a part-time floater uh, that we desperately need here in the township as well as Sammy Gilpin for our DPW and Gabriella Garlinu uh, for uh, planning and zoning clerk. So uh, adding three positions that uh, were open. So welcome Good. them aboard. Thank you. Any uh, comments from the floor? Seeing none, moving on to roll call, please. Yes. 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 Yes, and welcome all the new hires. Mayor Thompson. Yes, and welcome. Um, may I have a motion to approve claim list 2020-18. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Raymond Delcourt. Yes. Mayor McCauley. Yes. Mayor Yes. Mayor Thompson. Yes, that concludes our regular meeting. We do have an executive session this evening. So Ms. Brock, can you please read the ex uh, executive session resolution? We're at Section 8 Open Public Meetings Act. Chapter 231 of the Public Laws in 1975 permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances and whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Township Committee of Township of Hillsborough County, you know, Somerset State, New Jersey, as follows. Number one, the public shall be excluded from the discussion on the here and after specified subject matter. Number two, the general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows. Contract negotiations, Brown Avenue Extension. Number two, property acquisition, contract negotiations, 32 Hamilton Street. And number three, litigation Hillsborough properties. 
Number three, the Township Committee may take official action on those items discussed in the executive session upon the completion of the executive session. The minutes of those discussions shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters under discussion are no longer of a sensitive or confidential nature. And number five, this resolution to take effect immediately. Great. Uh, may I have a motion? So move, Mayor. Can I get a second? Second. <laughs> Thank you all. Comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Mayor Manzel for? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Lapani? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Thank you. That concludes the regular portion of our meeting. Uh, so thank you, everyone, and have a good night. Um, and we are entering into executive session.